Hey guys, welcome back. Today I have another weekly video for you. This one starts on a Friday, which I don't know how that happened, but to make it less confusing, I'm just gonna call these days by their numbers today. Support for these dinners comes from Squarespace. This first meal starts out with a fight, me and my tiny knife against the cauliflower. I added some oil to the florets as well as some salt. And let these bake in the preheated oven at 190 degrees for about 35 minutes. Meanwhile, I chopped up some garlic and ginger. In a small bowl, I combined cornstarch and water and mixed those two together until there were no clumps left. Then I added sriracha, tomato puree, white wine vinegar, soy sauce, maple syrup, plus the ginger and the garlic. Mix it all up, beautiful. I transferred this to a small saucepan, brought this up to medium high, then once it was bubbling, I turned the heat to medium, gradually adding more water while mixing continuously. I added the cauliflower to the sauce and had some of it on top of rice. That same night, Artemis and I were having like a virtual baking session. I was baking banana bread, she was making Vin Raffaello. I can highly recommend trying this out, even just having a friend on in the background sometimes while you do other stuff. Feels very comforting. By the way, the recipe for this beauty of a banana bread can be found in my ebook, Why Not Vegan? I will link it down below. Moving on to day two. This one's a meal that took like less than 10 minutes to put together. First, I made some couscous by adding twice the amount of hot boiling water volume wise to it and letting it sit for about eight minutes. In the meantime, I gathered the rest of my Buddha bowl ingredients. So avocado, radishes, vegan cheese, kidney beans, this lentil curry dip, baby spinach. I squeezed some lemon on the avocado and also added sunflower seeds as well as some sriracha in the end. I made pasta on day three. I basically remade the sauce from my lentil bake recipe. I just did like a slight change up to it, as in using only half vegan cream and half soy milk. I let one tablespoon of vegan butter melt on medium high, then added cornstarch to it. Mix it in. Then I poured in the cream milk mix and mixed everything up again. As it's simmering, it'll slowly begin to thicken, so let, let it simmer for like five minutes. In the meantime, I cooked up some whole wheat pasta. Back to the sauce. Here, I'm adding a bit of nutritional yeast. Two handfuls of vegan pizza cheese. White wine vinegar and salt. That evening my family was doing a barbecue and the pasta was my contribution. I had some of it alongside a salad my mom made. It's pretty good. It just wouldn't make sense to film a week of my dinners and not have at least one of these dinners be breakfast food. So here I'm cooking up some basic oatmeal 
One thing I've been doing lately though is toasting the oats on medium high for like a minute or two before adding all the other ingredients. It just gives it a different, slightly burnt taste that I enjoy. To the oats I added salt. The vanilla almond milk by Alpro. Completely forgot that one existed. I think I missed filming this part, but I'm pretty sure I also added flax seeds in there. But yeah, I let the oats cook for 6-8 to eight minutes on medium heat while stirring here and there. I topped it off with a bunch of berries, this soy protein yogurt, and maple syrup. That night, my family and I did a little board game session after I'd been requesting it for weeks. We were playing one of my favorite games, Mysterium. It's like Cluedo, or Clue, but better, and with abstract illustrations that you have to figure out. I made like a bit of a, like a one pot sweet potato veggie stew. First off, I peeled and chopped up an onion, two sweet potatoes, and a carrot. I brought a big saucepan with some oil to medium heat and added the onion first to saute there for about six minutes until translucent. Then I added all the other ingredients, tomato puree, the carrots and potatoes, cashews, cooked cashews, taste so good. Also added this vegan vegetarian bolognese sauce, corn, water, and spices some Italian spice mix and vegetable broth powder. Also like a teaspoon, uh, a tablespoon of barbecue sauce. I brought it up to a boil, then let it simmer on medium for about 20 minutes. After the 20 minutes, I added a couple handfuls of frozen spinach, let that cook for another three minutes or so, and, and, and that was it. Noch ein bisschen mehr Dana? Ein bisschen mehr zurück? Bisschen zu dir? Perfekt. Danke. That night, my friend Georgina was hosting a Zoom pub quiz. She made like a whole presentation. We had to guess each other's thumbs. It was, it was a fun time. Moving on to day six. As you can tell, I was very much excited about the fact that we had sliced vegan cheese at home by Simply V, the, I guess, spicy one. Once again, not sponsored by them. Um, yeah, I, I wish I was, I, I still haven't heard from them. Um, but this avocado sriracha combo with vegan cheese is one I can definitely recommend. A bit later, I also had this mango yogurt, soy yogurt, um, with some extra muesli. So was this what I showed you? What Was that even dinner? This last meal was me using up the last things we had at home. I was able to locate one more sweet potato, an onion, and a zucchini. I chopped all those up, also cooked up some quinoa, which I don't do nearly as much as I should. Once again, in a bigger saucepan, I let the onion fry first for about five minutes before adding the zucchini, letting that cook for another two to three minutes before adding the sweet potato, which I had made sure to cut into even thinner pieces this time. Then I added vegetable broth and my spices, this tagine spice mix and this Celtic spice mix. I let this simmer for like 12 to 15 or until the potatoes were tender. After the 15 minutes, I also added beans, frozen chives, lemon juice, the strangely thick soy sauce, and the quinoa. In the end, I mixed in some nutritional yeast, some more sriracha, and season it to taste with a tiny bit more salt. This was yummy, but there, there are a few things that I could have done better. 
I think just pan frying the zucchini in a separate skillet and then adding it later would have been the better choice. And then the other thing would be to just add less water. I added way too much water. Or maybe adding the quinoa in with the rest of the veggies in the first place. Um, yeah, but that's it for all the meals. Welcome to the outro of this video. Thank you so much for watching this until the end. I want to say many, many thanks to Squarespace for sponsoring this video and um, many of my other sponsored videos. If you are in need of a website, definitely make sure to check out Squarespace. They are the number one place for all things website. They provide you with super easy and intuitive to use tools. They have a wide range of beautiful looking, professionally designed templates that you can choose from. You can pick any one of these and just use them as they are or go crazy with it and change them as much as you want. For example, uh, the website that I have was made with this template, but now it looks like this. Squarespace has a 24 hour customer service that has won awards in the past, which is pretty neat. Also, as you're working on the site in advance, it shows you what it's gonna look like in the end on mobile phones and uh, tablets as well so that's super helpful there are so many reasons to make a website these days you could use it for a school project for work to give your artwork a home online to 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 you could you could share your recipes in a food blog Try it out if you haven't already and go to squarespace.com slash minarome. You can use the offer code minarome for 10% off your first purchase. Uh, again, thanks so much for being here and I will talk to you all very soon. I used to feel like I was chosen. Took some heavy roast and I feel less like Moses. Uh, psilocybin dosing just to grow kid. Now I'm 10 toes down and I know this. Grounded on my thoughts and my flowing. Yeah, always focus. Uh, always trying to maximize my focus.